Knock him off. Hello. Super excited for this map. So I know some of the guys on Hype. I used to play Dodo with them. Uh, Bronco and Dodo. Dodo specifically. Dodo. Yeah. Oh, man. The dotes. The unmentioned. Uh, as we are going into this game, we do actually see that we have Nightwing on Medic. Uh, Spanners is on support. Uh, let's just get this all fixed up. And we see this is kind of like their st standard lineup for them. But we do see Wraith is actually picked up by Insane. Insane hasn't played much Wraith since way back, back in the early stages of it. Let's just make sure I got this right. Perfect. And we, let's go to the game screen. So another interesting thing coming up here, apart from the Wraith. I think the Insane slim. saw what we said earlier, and he wants to prove that Wraith is much stronger than we gave her credit for. So we'll have to see what they do as they are pushing around. As we do see that we have a slim pickup, though, on Nightwing, which is something that you don't see that often. But he's probably going to be using it for the Spore Cloud with the shields from Hank. It's going to be really strong, and then Abe is going to be strong as well. Like, they have a lot of AoE control with this lineup. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see what they do. So, so what do you think is the reasoning behind the slim pickup? You said that he's going to be using the spore cloud. Well, the spore cloud, is what it does else? is that when you smell, right? When the monster smells, they get a red outline, or sorry, they get a colored outline based on whatever class they're playing uh, for the hunters, right? So they can see exactly where they are. It makes it a lot easier when you're targeting down one specific person because you can see their color. You know exactly where they are, right? Mm-hmm. So you can basically tell where you are and where you need to change your abilities. It makes things a lot easier. So by using the Spore Cloud, it makes things a lot harder to do because you don't have that outline. And we are starting on Orbital, so you're probably going to see the same path we mentioned earlier where we go right to the east because of the, just the amount of food there is just so much better than the other paths. As we see him yet again proving me wrong. So who knows, this might be the game where I'm proven wrong and rate this shown to be viable. We already had it happen once with Behemoth. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody saw that last game, so... Now they just want to try new monsters and make it exciting. Well, Insane the did meta. Act used to be a ridiculous Wraith player back in the day. And I mean, like, really strong. He's the one that actually made Sky Wraith extremely popular. As much as there were some of us that went through and we actually did it before it was popular, Insane's the one that showed it during the ESL and made it popular. He's the one that showed the power of it as because he was just dominating teams with Sky Wraiths. Right? So mm -hmm. we'll have to see what he does as he tries to get this control. So it's nice to see him saying going back on the old faithfuls and being able to pull, you know, Wraith in with the Savage skin, which is, which, oh my god, that's beautiful skin. The red and black, mm, love the Savage skins. Yeah, so it's a nice. really cool skin. So we'll have to see what they do. We see Slim right now is actually healing up the Assault from a distance. There's the Ape right now trying to get a Tracking Dart in. Not sure, I don't think they got it though. It's at 50-50 right now for, uh, for survival odds. I have to see what they do, is you just kind of push along the southern border, as it's kind of a little match right now between Iru and Insane, trying to see exactly where they're going. So, what do you think he's going to be doing differently from the last Wraith game we saw? For the, last, have the, for the last Wraith game we saw, we've actually are already seeing the difference. He's, in, he's getting these minor engagements, and he's forcing them into an area where he can pull them in. Because uh, remember, that was the one thing, is you have to pull them into a position where they split up. At this point, we see that the Trapper right now is split up with Spanner slowly coming in behind. The Assault right now is pushing up with the Medic slowly, with Nightwing coming up behind you, Skyrune. So they're able to do that, and they're able to get that control, but this is not quite enough split, which is why you didn't see him engage there. Yeah. And obviously much more aggressive play from the last. Is, is he even using the decoy? I don't believe that he is. I don't think he has a decoy, actually. So yeah, I think it's actually straight three-point war blast. So yeah. he's looking to just be able to get space and ha wants the larger radius. Because nowadays with the changes, it used to be that Warp Blast would increase distance the more points you put into it. Now it's just increases the radius and the speed that you travel while doing it. So it doesn't increase the actual distance you travel. A duck going in just barely misses the assault, though doesn't uh, not able to quite pick him up. As you see the toxic grenade going in, gonna be trying to pick him pick up some distance, going along the western border now, heading towards the northern side of the map. And they did manage to track him here, so they're going to be able to follow him. He's not even three quarters of the way that I've all. No, and he's still just picking up food. Right now, like with Wraith, though, it's slower feeding because you have to be a lot more cautious of what you're doing. If you get caught like as Wraith early, it's punishing, and you're in for a world of hurt that you've never experienced. It's just you need to run and hide and get your armor up and once you have that you can get a little bit of a wiggle room which is what we saw is once you had his armor he had wiggle room to do a little poking and engaging 
I see right now he's yeah. gonna finish up his evolve meter probably with these two meats, although he did miss the one. He's trying to get that finished up. You know, you you almost wonder if the absence of the Kyra, like we saw in the last Wraith game, is gonna hurt oh. them significantly because they don't have that adrenaline boost. Yeah, and he does have the full evolve meter now, so he's just looking to get distance. He was able to pull them as far north as possible, so he wants to go down to this corner right down here to get the full distance. And the dome comes out and he misses, just barely oh. clipping the edge of his tail. Unable to get that quite, and he's going to be able to gain a good amount of space because the dome's gone and he knows he has freedom to evolve. Nightwing, however, taking a little bit of damage, getting burned by the acid, gets slapped by a mammoth bird, so we'll have to heal up before the next engage. So they're going to be on the chase. Going. Going about as well as possible there for Insane. He's going to be able to throw it out on that evolve down in the corner and, and maybe get it off before they even get to him. Well, and, and they won't have the dome, so they won't have the dome at least until about 5-10 seconds after he evolves at this point. And they did find him, so they know exactly where he is. Toxic Grenade goes in, connects, he's going to be burning him. Orbital Barrage coming in, does it connect though, he's going to be melting him, he's out of half HP, the Orbital oh, Barrage wow. is just rocking his health pool. 3 point War Blast, 3 point of Duck, this is the Sky Raid build, and we'll have to see exactly how much he survived with, wasn't much. He's hurt, he's at half HP, oh, that orbital. Oh. That spectacular orbital there from the Hank, really well done by Spanners. Oh man, that orbital just hurt. I, I felt the pain on the inside there. Yeah, that was... Whew. And he thought he was completely clear, so that was way from downtown. Yep, and he's gonna be trying to get distance here because he needs the armor now. Oh man, yeah. he's hurting. He has his health pool, but it's only half, so it's basically what he lost what he gained by evolving. Yeah, so... At the same time, it's it's a shame they didn't have that dome because that would have been a, basically a complete free win there. Yeah, so it's a really tight situation that he just put himself in, but... Seen insane, get himself out. He does have the three point abduct, which means he's going to be super fast and he has a really long range with it, so he'll be able to get as much as he wants. And he's in a great spot, too. This is a great spot for Sky Raid fights because you can pull them into the acid and force them to burn as their corpse, which means that they don't last anywhere near as long. Dome comes out and it looks like it does cut short of the acid, so they won't be able to deal much. However, he does have a loop, though, so he'll be able to get a little bit of space and protect himself and mitigate almost all the damage. Abduct going in, does connect on Eero. Eero taking a lot of damage there. Shield comes in at the last second, doesn't block it, though, because he's able to break line of sight with the Abduct. Going in for Nightwing, though, slap and slap away. Shield comes in protecting Nightwing, who's trying to get the heals up. Going in for the Warp Blast, the Warp Blast is to get himself away. And he's going to be forced himself into this tight core. Abduct going in, does actually get Eero again, going for the slap, bring him down to half HP. Going to be slapping him again, slap at the base. This fish is going deep and trying to get as much as he can, but he's not committing to a full engage on it. Going for the Warp Blast, does it connect? Yes, it does. Skyrune is in for some hurt as he takes tank that Warp Blast to the face. Abduct going in on Skyrune, does tank the Abduct damage. Gets a little bit of damage. The shield comes in after the fact. Warp Blast going in on the Iru going to be taking him down to half. So we have the Assault and the Trap are both at half HP right now. Spanners is trying to get a little bit more poke damage with that Laser Cutter. We see the Abduct going in on Iru going to be able to finish it, but no, the shield comes in, does block it. Assault taking a little bit of damage though from the Warp Blast, and right now he is out of the dome because the timer is up. So they're on their pursuit, he's down to 40% HP while he's running. Uh, it didn't go as well as he would have liked, he was fortunate enough to actually have full armor before they got that dome down. So, what's his strategy now? Does he want to try to get eat, armor, re-engage? That's, yeah. that's really what he has to do, he has to get armor, re-engage. Because as Wraith, you want to get your pickoffs. You don't want those straight-up fights. You don't want a dome fight against all four of them. You want to be able to fight maybe two of them. If you fight two of them, you're in a great spot. Is he going in for the abduct? Yep, right there it is. He got some armor, and he's going in for re-engage. He gets slap at the base, going in for the warp blast probably soon. No, he's going to save it for the traversal. No, he does actually go for it, and he's going for the slap. Shield actually forced out by the assault. Going in for the stasis grenades does slow him down. He's going to be on the run now. Force himself along the eastern board, going to be pushing himself out, trying to use the Warp Blast to get a little bit more space. His armor is almost out, going to be trying to break line of sight, as he does break line of sight, taking almost no health damage for that engage. Oof. Yeah, was it really worth it though? Did he get anything out of it apart from distance? Nah, it just basically keeps him on their toes, which means they have to roll his four. So that's going to help him gain more distance in the time, because he can't cut the map, because they know he's looking to re-engage. But they're going to be in for some tough situations coming ahead because he's going to be looking to pick up. He's going to be trying to grab as many as he can. As right now, he is almost full armor, so we'll have to see what he does. Yeah. So he just hunts for armor and, and tries to get those picks. Maybe he doesn't want to be aggressive so they spread a little bit more. 
I don't know, we'll have to see what he does. Right now we're at that tense moment right before the storm. As we do see, we have a 2-2 split going on, and by that I mean that we have two on one side of the rock and two on the other. As he does go for the assault, and the assault takes all the damage of that abduct. Going for the stealth pounce, doesn't quite get it. Though Spanners is in the back with that shield, ready and waiting for it. He's going to have to force down the fight. Going to be looking for the... Boom! There goes the connection, and the war blast can be finishing off. Down goes the assault. Shield is not popped in time. That's two. That's exactly what he needed. That is the perfect split of exactly how to play it. Any of you at home that want to know how to play Wraith, that's what you do right there. That is the perfect play by Insane, getting that split, losing almost no armor. Dome is actually forced from Iru. He wants to be able to finish up these corpses, get him down on the ground. Down goes the assault. He's on the ground. He's crying for mommy as he's hurt. And Nightwing's right now going on the ground, trying to fight and as much as he can, just trying to shoot and heal, shoot and heal, keeping him off that corpse so he can bring it up with the bug so the support doesn't stay on the ground and go in the dropship. Stealth bounce coming in. Spanners is up now, and Nightwing is on the ground, though. They traded a support for a medic in that situation. Gamey looking for the pickup, though. Trapper looks like to be running as the support is down quick, and the orbital barrage does get thrown, but doesn't connect as he's going to be running, building up armor. He almost has a full evolve meter. Iru is now on the run. Yeah. He's got a minute and 30 to stay alive here, and the Wraith is going to be chasing him down now. Really, really nice uh, thought to take that fight there. He probably would have done even better if the support hadn't been on that side. So, good presence of mind from Insane there. Well, what he did is he just kept up the presence, kept aware of what was going on, and he know Iru went north, so he's trying to get in smell radius. Smell radius is 70 meters. So if he's slightly closer, they're at 100 meters right now. If he gets within 70, he knows where he is. He'll be able to smell him. Insane's looking for him, though. He's at 97, 98, 100. Okay, so what he's doing now is he's evolving right next to the power relay. So as soon as he's done, he's going to hit that power relay and go for the win. He's, he's got 45 seconds. He'll have 35 by the time he gets on that relay. So that's enough time. And Iru knows this. So Iru actually has to reveal where he is if he wants to stop him from coming. Does he just ignore the trapper no. completely and just stay on that power relay? He, might he be can't, because if the trapper can shoot him, then he can't stay on the relay. And Iru's got to go in. He's got to do something here. He's got 20 seconds, and he's half out. And he's half on the relay. He's got to stop in it. He's got to go in there and stop it. No waving at this point. He'll, he'll be dead before they even drop in. He needs to go stop it. I don't know what he's doing, but he's letting them just slaughter down that relay. As you might see, a relay which is something that hasn't happened in a long time. See tracking darts going in, revealing where he is, stopping it from hitting that relay as it's down to the last couple seconds. Dropship's coming in, though. They're so far away, though. He can probably finish up Iru, put him on the ground, then go on that relay and finish it before they even spawn. Because if you look at the Hunter team, they're still in the dropship right now. And they're going to be going in to try and get it. He needs to eat that. Okay, he's going to eat that corpse, build up armor, and then he's going to go in. As he's going to be trying to get that relay, they need to be dropping and shooting because it's down low. The relay's out about 5% HP. It's only got a couple more seconds before they can come down and shoot it. They need to get their shots off as soon as possible. But no, it's not quite enough. Monster wins by destroying the relay. And victory confirmed for Insane. Good game. What an insane wow. victory. The Wraith working out. We're seeing some unusual monster picks, and it's it's paying off for the people picking them. Whew. Yeah, and right now we're going to set up the next lobby, but oh, man. That was very well done by Insane. That was a perfect play, perfect pickoff as we go into the That's next match, which is going to be refueling towers. They're pushing the way up, and it's we're going to have to see how they, they do anything different on this map. But, chill, guys, we'll be back in just a moment, and we'll see you guys in just a sec.